nothing is taboo. I am Shay K. Wolfo. This is the fabulous Miss Tanya Lotzino. Hey, everybody. And check Welcome. out our beautiful guest. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is our dynamic, very, very educated guest. Miss Angel from Massage. Angel's Therapeutic Massage. I don't know. Is that right, girl? Yes, sir. She's fabulous. It's a with us tonight. Well, today, actually. As if you can tell, look, look behind us. Because guess what? We are live on location at Frederick's Restaurant, which is located in Louisville, Kentucky. You know, my hometown. I love, love, love. I get mad at you. We fall in and out of love all the time, but I always come back to you. So we decided that we would hang out with the fabulous folks of Frederick's Restaurant, which is located at 1508 West Kentucky, Louisville, Kentucky, 40211. And here's the thing. If you're in Louisville, if you're visiting, if you're traveling, make sure you stop through. Also, like them on social media. It's Frederick's Restaurant, and their website is frederick'srestaurant.com. Support, share, come and get some great food. It's We're really here. good. The lemon out. pepper wings are the truth. And the fish. <laughs> I broke oh my, my diet. <laughs> I broke my diet. Let me just say Fried that. Fried fish. It's Friday, so it's a given. Yes. But it's really, really it's good. It's not thing. crazy, Thank flaky, you. really, really good. I like see when my massage therapist approves of my cheating. Yes, yes. Every that every month. I can do Okay, well, there you go. She said every month I can have a cheat day. So or two. Oh. <laughs> I do I like that for a reason. So what we're doing today, we're gonna talk about self care. And the title of this episode is actually Self Care It's Your Right. Now the reason I came up with that one, this was there's due to me because and she'll tell you all that season I was ripping and running, I wasn't taking care of myself. And it was one of those things where I realized, hmm, it's my right to do just that. I should do that. And of course, I have a, a fabulous massage therapist. The first time I went to her, I think I may have broke her arms because my muscles are so tight. <laughs> and so she gets on me, and then I just realized we need to talk about self-care, what self-care really is. Absolutely. Uh, because and why it's important. Yeah, because we have to take care of ourselves. And I fell into that trap last year. Last season, I was really on all the time. And I refuse to do that again. So I'm excited that we're going to explore this topic of self-care. Because it's a, it's a huge topic. It's pretty broad. But we do actually have an agenda. We have decided on season two, I'll behave a little bit more. Time you'll keep me on task. I don't know if that's going to happen by the end of this show. <laughs> yeah, she got a hard job. But that's just, I just want to put that out there. We're going to try. So... Um, let's talk a little bit about self-care and one of the things I wanted to ask you ladies because we all have different definitions so what is self-care to you? Self-care to me is taking time to unplug from the rest of the world we all live busy lives we are in high demand from being a mother to being a business person to being a student we're always on the go so taking that time to really close out the world and shut the world out and get true to you because you can't pour from an empty vessel and a lot of us are pouring from empty vessels and it, it drains you oh yeah oh yeah and it, it comes out in different ways not only in your work in your behavior in your attitude and i find that because we're so busy we're taking pills we're, we're drinking alcohol Ooh. we're doing all these things energy drinks yes and none of them yes. are good and for we're you. masking the fact <laughs> I thought you said except for wood that's for reserve. My, that's my cheat day. <laughs> well, except for wood for reserve. Everybody knows that's my cheat day. Your food. I'm I have, I have my wine. wine. <laughs> and she has her wine. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, see, it. here's what I say. A Bloody Mary is tomato cheese. Okay. So okay. I'm getting all my vegetables at the same time. And you stir it with celery. See, red wine yeah. is good for the heart. It is. In moderation. Yes. You can't have the whole bottle. Well, that's where I was going wrong. That's why we need her. <laughs> Obviously, that's where I was messed up. But I know you see, and before I get to you, I want to ask you because I know you, you deal with folks in different walks of life. You know, it's a very intimate um, situation. You're, you're really on the body, and also the spirit of mind and young parents. When it comes to self care, what's that? The thing that you see that folks don't do. But they should do. But they don't want to listen to you. You go to shit. Getting massage. Ooh, wow. A lot of, uh, let me say that again for me. Yes. They don't get massage. And this is one, and this is one. <laughs> I, I, they wait until the, the, the broke down really bad. Shoulders, legs, um, back, or, or just head. 
they're so busy that they got used to being in pain. That that's comfortable to them. So they don't know what it's like to have the muscles unlocked, to be unrestricted, to be free. Um, that's un unknown to them. So I think that teaching people the, the really benefits, the therapeutic properties of massage and why they need it, um, that it's not just a fluffy thing, you're not just massaging lotion on somebody, you're actually unlocking those muscles and getting through to the real pain, the causes of pain. And it also releases toxins. It does. Because I know the very first time I had one, and she says, let me give you this cup of water. She actually gave me a bottle of water. Before you get up, she said, get up slow, because you're going to release a lot. And when I got up, there was that she was a piece of tissue to put over the face mask. It was so saturated and wet. And I go, where did that come from? She said, that's the toxins coming out of your body. And I go, really? So I felt the difference. It was like something had been lifted off of me, and it made me feel like I could go back to the home. So the I told totally me, the dopamine, the feel good hormone yeah. is released when you get that massage. If you operate at a high level of cortisol, stress levels that cause a lot of good blood pressure issues that take toll on different organs within the body, and uh, it comes out in a lot of. Uh, that's why we have a lot of diseases. Mm. Not really, yeah, you're not letting go. We don't know how to let go. Because mm. it became normal. And I didn't think this is what you're supposed to do. Yeah. She pointed out, she's actually right. That's why I figured you were going to go. Because I just put on my table. I became comfortable being in pain. I have fibromyalgia and I have skin lupus and some other things. So I, I deal with that constantly. So that's a way, that's life for me. But I was so miserable and in pain, I, but I became comfortable. So then the day started, I would just maneuver with that pain. And it wasn't until she really got home. And she, I know she, I thought she was going to tell me got through it. I knew I was probably my <laughs> people tell me, she didn't want me to come back. Because I was like, just nod it up. But you're absolutely right. I became used to being in pain. And then I started, you know, to make excuses about self-care. And that's why I was like, what is self-care? Because we all have this different opinion. And even if, if there were days that I would, if I did something like stop this, like I was like, hold on a second, when I really got to do some other things, I kind of started making excuses to really not do the things that I should do, yeah. although I knew I should do it. Right. And you had totally got to do it. And then don't feel guilty because so many of us do that. True. I learned with myself doing self care, I escaped. I wanted to be in another room. I would tell my husband, take the kids out of the house. He goes, why? Oh, I, I want to be by myself. They didn't understand. That was my mother's day gift for about three, four years. I would just take the kids out of the house and I meditated. I learned that meditation is so relaxing for your body, your mind, and your spirit. Because those three, three things have to be in line in order for you to be able to help your family, and go to work, help yourself. So if you don't take the time out and figure out what works for you, we're going to give you some tips and so many different things that you should try to see which one uh, works best for you. The meditation is so easy to do, it's, it's inexpensive, and it's very important for you. So I just light a few candles, and I learned to get all natural candles because the waxy ones secrete, um, they secrete something that's not good for your body. So those $3 candles is what you're getting. It's just like you buy a dollar hamburger. Don't think you're going to get the same effect of that dollar hamburger and that $8 hamburger. You're going to get fake meat, uh, full of antibiotics and growth hormones, just like the candles. You're not getting real candles, and they're real waxy. And now, when I go and this out, I smell the difference. I'm like, that's not healthy for me. People think you got to have those smell good scents in your house where your house to smell clean diffusers with essential oil that's it that's what you that's natural a, that's one of my self now you got me um uh, yes. addicted to lemongrass yes. and, and Ooh, I'm that's my favorite essential yes. oil and lavender yes. those two but i was using them like when i used to make products i used them i wasn't using them on me right. and it wasn't until you did that and i was like oh my See, oh my God. So anxiety is high right now with a lot of what's going on. Lemongrass is one of those essential oils that helps calm the spirit. Wow. It helps with anxiety. I love it. Along with lavender. Lavender, everybody goes to. But mm -hmm. lemongrass is that's that's my go-to. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and you just you just rub a cup on your palm and you just Smell it. Yeah, it, just, it just takes away, like, just takes away all the stress. As soon, immediately when you smell it, it's like, oh, 
another, another thing, we don't breathe. Oh, so a lot of us are shallow breathers by nature. And then that's not really getting to the relaxation part. You haven't really released anything. You're still into taking that deep breath from the belly and then slowly letting it out. You notice when you go to the doctor, that's exactly what they tell you. Take a deep breath, yeah. breathe in, and that I tend, I've taught myself to do throughout the day, especially if I'm in the car and you're in traffic, I just start taking deep breaths. You're releasing a lot of toxins from your body when you do that, which is relieving stress, which helps you to deal with the situation a lot better. That's just free right there. The deep breaths. Let me just say. Let me hear it. Some days I want to take a deep breath, but I got too tight space on it, and I can't. But this, I'm gonna be, I'm being honest. And I'm like, oh, it's so tight, I can't breathe. I get dizzy a little bit. Uh, but I started to realize too, that's not good. No. no. <laughs> oh, all look so skinny. Those waist trainers. Oh, I'm so lightheaded. They're, right. they're only good for two up to three hours, I think, at a time. Okay. I was having some that of those, for eight hours. Oh, oh my God. Some of those waist trainers are rearranging the organs, organs within the body. That's what was happening to me. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We're, We're live, live at Frederick's. We've got some. She's getting her own food truck, so I'm watch great. out for her. She's going to get it. Tell me your name real quick. My name is Deidre Calhoun. Do you have a name for your truck yet? Uh, roll it up. Uh, Egg Roll Diva. Egg Roll oh, Diva. Egg roll diva. I just said roll because she will be rolling up rolling at a spot up. near you. She's yes. going to specialize in different egg rolls. Yes. She has a Philly cheesesteak egg roll. She has oh. a um, uh, buffalo chicken egg roll. Vegetable egg rolls. Uh, breakfast egg rolls. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to try different things. I'm even going to try Thanksgiving egg rolls this year. Ooh, huh? some so greens and sweet potatoes. Yes. Uh, sweet potatoes in I'll, it. Be I'll, I'll be your guinea pig. 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 But I am going to do a pop up here at Frederick's, you all. And I just really, really hope y'all come and support me. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I like the concept of egg rock. You are in our prayers. I can cheat. Right. Right. go, girl. <laughs> right. Thank you. But you know, that's part of self care. You know, that's become something that I do. That's one of my tips. I'm get up in one second. She didn't get enough food to sleep. But she quit. She quit live over there. No, she's on the floor. Get that down. I'm going to put her food on the table. Okay. And it smells really good. But you know, I think I'm going to kill me for this. Yes. I'm just going to set this on another table. I just still want it to be on camera because I might eat, you know. Oh, I would have reached over and picked a piece of it. Right. That's but that's become part of my self care. No, no. Here's the thing. Yeah, and I, I have been doing a healthy lifestyle. I'm doing smoothie meals. Uh, I do smoothies at least two a day. And I'm at like day, the, the day to this table is like day 95, four. And it's become very easy. But one of myself, I, you know, I treat myself. I go and I talk to restaurants. I'm also talking by myself. By myself. Oh, but gosh. I don't. Because you don't have to talk to anybody about yes. you're eating. You can I think, you can plan. Gee, I want to eat. Yeah. Oh. And it's not, I also <laughs> realize that. I don't deny myself anything because that's not fair to me. It, because when I start to say, oh, I can't, I can't, then it becomes stressful. Yes. And you're worried about, oh, how many calories are Did I have this? And I'm like, no. So I tricked myself and I find different places and new foods, and that might be my meal of the day. I make it once a week. If I feel like I need to do that two or three times, that I do, and I, you know, I just I adjust accordingly. But that's become one of my self care because it makes me. Ooh, just have that moment and that time to myself. It's little things too, and I think adjusting our, our life, our own lifestyle, and, and I'm gonna touch on that later because I have a self-care action plan for hey. something I've done for myself, and I want to challenge everybody to do that. So I just want folks to think outside the box. Yes, you know, and that's why I was asking, and I, I do want to know what self-care exactly is. You can see we all think different, but that doesn't mean it's wrong. You adjust your life because we're all what different. works for you, and, and our lives are different. Our patterns, and you know how we go about our day. So self care is about self. Your self is different from herself, and herself, this self is. So don't feel guilty if you're having to do something different, and, and your girlfriend has to do something else. You know, you may go get massage. Your girlfriend may need pedicure. She may need to go to a hotel and do something like just just go out. We're all different, and it's your right to have self care. So Tanya, what is your exact definition for you? Self -care? For me, my self-care is getting away from my family and meditating. It's just going in the room. I like my candles and I learn to use different candles and essential oils. I have an oil burner now. And it is so relaxing for me. I take deep breaths. I 
have a seven, seven minute, seven second count that I hold. So I breathe in, hold it for seven seconds, and then you breathe out slowly through your mouth. And I notice a lot of stars are taken into doing meditation and self-care. Because once you're busy and you have such a busy schedule, a busy lifestyle, taking care of your family, taking care of everybody else, you have to take time out to take care of yourself. Then once a month, but I just had a little surgery, so it was like every week I had a piece of chocolate cake. But that was so um, satisfying for me. And that's basically why I did it, because I was stressed because I couldn't get out of the house. I couldn't get anything done. So I'm at work working, and then I had a cake. But the best part, you guys, I, I wasn't that bad. The cake was about this big. I had it in quarters. So this was one weekend. This I didn't eat the whole thing at one time. Just three or four bites. Just three or four bites. Just to get that craving away from me. Because I couldn't exercise, and I didn't want to put on the pound. And one thing that I learned, so many people always say, Try this diet. Try this. Diet is such a dirty word for me. Because what works for Angel and Shay doesn't work for my body. You should know your body. You should know your blood type. You should know the foods that work with your blood type. And I had to learn that from my nutritionist, which is right over there. She is here today, Miss Angie Scott. So she is a god woman. But they taught me that everybody's body is different. So once I started eating foods that work with my body and my blood type, that helped me to have less stress in my life. So eating is a big part of uh, self-care. A lot of people don't realize it because so many of us, it's become normal. You will eat until your stomach is full. Yep. And you think until it's full, you're not full. So I need to eat more and I need to eat more. And then after you eat, it's like, oh, I need to take a nap. And then you're, so, you're bloated and you're like, that's not eating. That's really unhealthy. What you've done is for so long, you think it's normal. That's ingrained in us, you know. And as we talk about this, when you eat, when you play, when you play, and it wasn't until I started with the diet changes, I realized I didn't even eat all the time. I don't, I don't even feel good after eating. And one of my little tricks has been instead of eating everything, I want to this one. So I'm like, oh, I'm trying all of that. Small portions. But I only ate the equivalent of what would be, you know, a meal instead of just feeling like I have to clean my place. I, I, everywhere I go, I leave the toe box. My kids will tell you that. My daughter will tell you, know, kind of pack up from me. And I have no problem leaving that though. And yes. I have to get out of that mindset of thinking, oh, I better eat all this whole time. You eat until you're full, you know, until you're satisfied. And that's cool. And for me, I have done this. So if I overeat, I get more and have a lot of carbs. I get, you know, I have to get light, sweats, all that. And but you know, so your body can't process the sugar. So I have to really be careful. Mm -hmm. And it also happens to people with uh, hypoglycemia or hypoglycemia, also with diabetics, this or that. So we're so conditioned, so trained, as we're coming up to eat it all, that we do it to our destiny. And, and really, it's not the for change that. But also, changing that allowed me to, I mean, that's a good meal. I get to try a little bit of everything. Yes. And then it's, it's something. It, I've had the pasta used to be my favorite ones, and I can put it on a plate of pasta. And then I'm sick, and I'm like, you know, I get a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I've had, what you got, oh, I had seafood, I had pasta, I had steak, and I'm like, I'm like, only have a bite of it. better when you have a variety of food. And honestly, the amount of meat you're supposed to eat is the size of the palm of your hand. You're not supposed to have 32 ounces, three ounces, and 12 ounce steaks. Really, you're not. They're 12 ounces to be split. You should put more fruits and vegetables in your body. And as I said, find out what works for you. Because everything doesn't work for everyone. And people say, I tried that diet, it didn't work for me, and I'm not going on a diet. Or they don't stick to it, though. It's like, it's a, it's a daily challenge to swing fast. But if you just start eating healthy right. and create a healthy lifestyle, yes. you don't have to go on a diet. Right. Which means that you just incorporate good food, good nutrition into your life because it helps you to have a longer quality of life, a better quality of life. And it becomes that habit. Once you break the habit, that's where the ground is. I broke it becomes it happen now. And I don't, I don't have a problem. You know, I, I remember taking the kids out on the trip. I wanted the burger. I stopped one of my favorite burger spots. And, and that's what I did. I ate until I was satisfied. It was like, like the burger. And I was fine. You know, when I ordered, they said, oh, the double's open. Just give me the same. Give me the smallest one, the this, this, and that. Did I get the cheese and the onions and the mushrooms? I sure did. Because I wanted to be satisfied. Yes. And that's what I did. Because that's the only thing I could do. I was satisfied. And I ate the burger. And I was like, okay, I'm going to eat the burger. And I ate the burger. I'm not you want something else. I'm upset. That's not going to stress Let me get something else. Yeah. So self-care. I mean, so little adjustments in life can do a lot 
for you and we take for granted so many things because we're used by the condition of health. So it becomes normal. And self-care is super important and, and what is the, the comparison they do if you're on an airplane and they're going to crash, you put the oxygen mask on yourself so that you can then put it on your children or whoever you're taking care of. And caregivers, just don't do self-care. That's something I run across so many busy taking care of everybody, everybody else. Everybody else. And you're like, once you get them to bed, you're like, ah. Oh, then you're too exhausted. Sit, then you're going to bed. Correct. It's time to bed. You're on the couch. I'm like stuck for two hours. Like, what's what's good? And, and, and I didn't realize that how much time you spend trying to get, get to the moment of so sitting on the couch and, and just relaxing. But you're so tired. You then cannot put in the effort to take care of yourself. So that's not even self-care. Right. In my opinion, that's right. not even self-care. That's getting away, pulling away. And I had written something. Uh, one of the things I have was a point to say, one of my top points, because when I was thinking about that, and I was saying that um, self-care actually helps you make progress faster. And there were a few reasons. I live a lifestyle to keep me living. I go to do stuff, mark it off my list, Everything's not done, I can't feel good. So I'm That's me. And so I have to think, okay, this is not productive. I'm not feeling good. I'm literally stressed out over something that's supposed to help me de stress. I implemented the list and the, the planning to remove the stress, but it wasn't happening because I felt guilty because I didn't get stuff done. And so, you know, self you get it done. I couldn't sleep at night. I was restless, worried about it. You didn't get that done. You got to do this. And it's like driving me crazy. It was a constant cycle. Yeah. yeah. And, it was, and then it kind of got scary. I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm shut this off. And I can remember, like, that was when I was like, it was like, I can't stop thinking to relax. But that's very scary. It's a good stop. But you know one thing a doctor told me? The one force, one thing that never shuts down. <laughs> your brain. Yeah. So yeah. the whole time you sleep, your yeah. brain is yeah. still going. So either you're dreaming or you're worrying. So if you put good stuff in here, it's going to come out of here. But if you don't, then that's when you have a problem. But a lot of people don't realize those simple things. Try to go to bed with peace of mind. Don't go to bed angry with your friend. Yeah. Yeah with your sister, your mom, your dad, your mate, Before your kids. I brain up. Yes, So I have a journal. I was just going to okay. say, I have a journal. So kidding. this is self-care for me. Yes. Okay. And it took me to have a moment of almost depression oh, wow. before I figured out. I had to do something different for me because I'm not affected to anyone else if I'm a man. That's right. So every night before bed, I journal. And then hey, I write. Hey. What stressed me out for the day? What it was that is heavy on my brain? Positive affirmations of what I want to do for the next day because the day is done. We can't do anything to change it. We can't go back and we redo can't it. go back and we can't rewrite history. So let that go. And that is like for 2019, we are letting stuff go. Yes, we are. And starting new. So. Brain dumping, writing our positive affirmations of what we want because we speak into existence yes, what it is we want. So it, it's time that we uh, let that, that, that <laughs> we speak into existence. Yes. I tell so many people that this, I get a lot of people that speak negative things about their life, their kids' life, themselves. I can't, she can't, he's dumb, she's not. I said, don't say that about your kid. I'm broke. No, I don't have the money right now to do this. That financial deposit hasn't hit yet, but yes. it's on the oh, way. Yes. It's on the way. <laughs> There's so it's much. <laughs> that is so true. Yes. And a lot of us just it become normal. So we do. Right. Have it. We speak negatively over our lives, over our kids' lives, over ourselves. And what you put out there is what you're going to bring back. I love that. But it's also, it, start, it starts in the mind and how we were trained a lot of times of what we've been around in our environment. Yeah. We are a product of our environment until we decide that we're going to do something different. So we have wow. to mentally check ourselves and say, is this what I want? Is this good for me? And what am I willing to do to change it? We, we have to make that decision to change. And that has been the hardest challenge for me. Because it's okay to know I want to lose 20 pounds. But am I going to eat more fruits and vegetables to get it? Or I want to make it. Am I going to do what it takes to put myself in the dating game and 
attract what I want. Mm -hmm. so, I like that so. what you just said. A lot of people talk about it, but they don't take the necessary steps to make that action happen. Because I always say a goal without a plan is just a wish. Because so many of us will say, I want to do this. I want to lose weight. But you're not doing anything to lose weight or to look for a man. Those are steps you have to take to prepare each situation that you want to be better in your life. If you don't make it happen, it's not going to happen. It's not going to fall out of the sky. Angel you. can't do it for me. Shay can't do it for me. I have to do it for myself. So you've got to believe in yourself. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do this, or you're not able, or you're not smart enough, or you're not pretty. Who says who gave you permission over my life to tell me what I'm capable of doing? And then, and just saying all I'm thinking, because I go back to you said, brain dump. You're hearing all this stuff, and it's being, you're not pulling it in, but it's being poured into you by other people. So I love the fact you said brain dump. You gotta dump that out. And what we see, what we hear, it does impact how we think. Yes. Even if you don't want to admit it, if the people around you are negative, and we said, last season we said, all the time, you know, you have to change the people around you. Because what happens is, you pick up those habits, and times always talk about habits and how you can break it. But you pick up habits, and you don't even realize that you pick up that habit. You have a clue. You just, you fall into a habit. You're doing this, you're doing that. And you just, you're impacting your life. So that negativity, it stays here. It weighs on you. All this is pushing down on you. So I love it. I love it. I love it. I journal too. And I'll be out there. I journal it. I journal the good stuff. I just, and I'm going to the back. And even if it's hard to let for people say, I felt like get it out. Put it on the story. And even if you ask us, you need to rip it up. But well, I burn my, mm -hmm. I have a garbage can and I burn it. What it is, but I'll let it go. Yes. And I think uh, a key point is in self courage, we have to be respectful of our energy. Yes. yes. So we encounter energy every day and everywhere we go. Woo. This exchange can be good or bad. Yes. So we have to be full within ourselves so that when we encounter these energies, Right. I gotta get a hallelujah on that one. <laughs> because we, we ingest them, we take them in and they weigh on us. So having friendships, having relationships with people that isn't in line with our energy is detrimental to our self -care. Ooh, good point. Yes, it and is. Respectful of our energy. I really love that. And I always say, you know, you have the right to edit your life. I'll say hashtag edit when needed. And that falls in line you have to. You have the right to write your story, craft your life, craft your vision, how you will see fit. And it's folks are negative. If they're saying you do not have to be around with them, so I really like the respect of your own energy. It goes back to that honest conversation with yourself. You know, this, these people around me, they're not, they don't mean me well. They're, they're saying negative stuff, they're doing this. It's not making me feel good. You have right to respect for your energy. You bad one. You need to get a t shirt. I need back. <laughs> She said, I'm a side shaker. I bet you respect my energy. Respect Shoot, get away from me. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And respect other folks' energy. You know, I always say respect people. And learn to feel people's energy. Because I walked into situations that did not feel good. And I would leave. You know what? Let me catch you on another one. I'll call you next week. There's some people times people have to baby. I don't need that energy around me. You know, I think honestly, if we be real with ourselves, we feel it, we don't yes, acknowledge that's it. Those red right flags. We don't get we don't respect it. We don't respect the energy when it's in our face. Because we want to bask it and say, Oh, it's something else. Yes. Oh, she didn't mean that. Oh, we just going through something when really people show you who they are, you have to believe them. Well, yes. hold on. Let's give up. That's another hallelujah. Well, <laughs> 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 yeah, you gave me a birthday. You're absolutely right. I, and one thing, that, and it always bothered me. I think it's the last thing. Oh my God. We as women are so conditioned to accept things we don't need to. Yes. And we have to be required to. But society has conditioned us. So all that poor thing. That's why self care for us has really become. So important because we wear a zillion hats, you know, your mother, your grandmother, your, your business owner, your housewife, all this stuff going on. That ignorance become normal and you think that this is supposed to be a part of your life, when really it's not. You've got to look at the bigger picture, what's best for me. Put yourself first. Because if you don't, you can't take care of the kids, the husband, the business, your um, friends, family, mom, whoever. Put yourself first and just always say, 
hang around people that's going to elevate you and celebrate you, not tolerate you and make you feel bad. Because some people have this niche. You know, we have it in our family. Every time you come home, they've got something negative to say. That's not good energy to be around. It's not going to help you to get to your next level of what you're trying to do in life. So those people, as we said, spend a limited amount of time with them because that energy is not worth being around. Because people tend to pick up other people's energy when they're around them often. So if you tend to spend a lot of time with the person, you're going to pick that energy up from that person. So that's why I'm always around lovely people, happy people, people that's going to help me, and I love, love, love learning. So if you're teaching me something, I'm like this. Okay, tell me something. Okay, tell me something. It's so exciting I, to me. What I do is along with the um, journaling of, we, we're healers. Mm, yes, so yes. we take on people's energy in form of your business or in providing self care to others. Um, I have to release that. So, like, Epsom salt is good for your feet, dead sea salt is good to neutralize Ooh. the ions within the body. So you're releasing that negativity off of you. So taking baths in dead sea salt with some essential oil. Wow. That is a good self-care treatment. So and what do you think about Epsom salt? I like it in moderation for like sore muscles. Mm -hmm. So I'm a sports massage therapist. Sure you all bell football. Got my legs together. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got my legs so, so what I do is I'll do um, Epsom salt. And peppermint and lavender. That's and so, what I have. So, <laughs> so peppermint is good for sore muscles, and so I use that a lot when I'm working on, especially hamstrings and hands. A lot of people suffer from low back pain and don't realize their roots are just high. Wow. So it taught me so much. <laughs> because it does amaze me when, whenever I talk to her, how she's like, oh, I can just do this and that. Because your body, your body is so good. Yes. You think, oh, this hurts because of that, and that's not the reason. And then people walk around, so a back shoulder, and I'm probably speaking about myself, headache, migraine, eyebrows hurt, hair gets she hurt. Said, all eyebrows hurting. Oh, no, I was like, my eyebrows hurt. I was like, I'm stressed because my eyebrows are so with me. But your body is so the muscles and you then you hold in emotions and then if you've been around negative people you're holding that negative they pour it in so now your body's almost like it's eating all this negative you are connected you're connected everything is connected and that, that is what i learned in being in this arena of body work because i'm like oh no it's not yes it is and where you're feeling the pain isn't the source of the Usually, I heard that. Yeah. yeah, it's a referral pain pattern. So, a lot of times people are feeling issues in their neck and shoulders. Mm -hmm. I had a headache, and I know this kind of anchor man called two years ago. I feel that <laughs> referral pain. That's referral pain. Ten years ago, I was like, I'm still getting a headache. I mean, I get it. I understand. Right. But I mean, it's Ooh. our body work, the things that we don't, the things that we don't express, yeah. yeah. it manifests. Yeah. And that's why I that dumb book is so important. You'll see of that. I mean, that's something I really struggled with. And I finally got to a good fight. But I would go to things. And I bet emotions, I wouldn't let it out. So that's why when I started journaling, and I said, I even write the negative. Because a lot of times we're told on Sunday. And for me, it became more than writing. Even though Ooh, nobody else was going to see it. Yeah. You know, but I would do the And I realized, wait a minute, I'm holding that in. they want to say she's cute but I'm intimidated by her is really what it is don't let someone's outer appearance ever intimidate you because what I've learned is to fall in love with their soul 
I like your spirit. I like the way you treat me. I like the way you make me feel. That's what people need to get in tune with, not somebody's shell, because this is a shell you're going to get rid of it. You can't take it with you. But so many of us have just become normal. You see, you just, and you know, it's just it's not, he thinks on self love. That's it. That's so the I can be part. jealous of you if I love me. Nothing you have is going to stop me from getting what's mine. Or what God has. You can't love somebody else if you don't love yourself. So right. that's that simple. And that's it. Got to put that oxygen mask on you and take care of you because you think that what happens when you run out of you, there's nothing to even share. You're running on empty. You True. have nothing. I can't help you because I have nothing of me left. That is so and that's true. that complete burnout. And I have experienced that. That's just no fun. Because that's almost like you got to do a complete rebuild and figure it out. And, and that in itself isn't just an emotional roller coaster. So one of the things I wanted to, uh, hopefully, that we would encourage folks, and this is part one, so we're going to come back to part two and explore this issue some more. I wanted to and to be comfortable in your self care. Being comfortable with taking them out. Take that break. Get comfortable saying, you know what? I just need, I need some time. And don't, don't get in Designate time. I mean, it could be in the morning, 15, 20 minutes. Go get your massage once a week. If you can't do once a week, you know, once a month. But you could do like your meditations or just being by yourself or just getting your mind together. Put that as a part of your daily routine. Or at least monthly routine. Monthly routine. Because 2019 is right around the corner. And we want you guys to start taking care of yourself, putting yourself first. Value yourself. Value your time. Value the people you spend time with because it's so important. We forget about these simple things. And we just push them and put them on the back burner. And then y'all get to it later. I'll get to it later. Make that a priority. 2019 is just a few weeks away, and we want you to be the best you that you can be. Live your best life. Yes, yes. <laughs> and take care of doors. Yeah. Yes. Now, I do want to shout out a couple of sponsors. We're going to uh, make sure we transition out because there's a part two to this. The self care is so broad. We. I'll be honest. I said, let's just stop right there. And she said, now you know we get to talking. And it's going to go. And then I thought about it. I was like, yes, we're right. talking up for three shows on one show. So I was like, oh, two two shows. Shows. So all I want to do is make sure that we shout out to folks. And I know one of our sponsors, and I love this, Keep It Spicy. So I want you to tell folks how they can connect with you guys because they've been. They can put in work. I see. I'm like, Tanya, I haven't talked to Tanya. What's she doing? Oh, there's a new spice now. Oh, what's she cooking today? Can I go over my house and find some? <laughs> Thank you, Shay. Keep It Spicy is a gourmet line of smoked spices that my husband and I have created along with a dynamic product called Shooty Bread. Shooty Bread is the only cornbread mix on the planet that is pre mixed, pre made. All you do is pour it, bake it, pour it in a skillet, and you can make a skillet cornbread or you can make little cakes on top of the stove. It's so versatile. It makes muffins and it makes waffles. You can use the batter to make uh, corn dogs. Uh, we make something called lobster lollipop. So that batter does so much. It was created for convenience because a lot of people don't have time. So the container lasts in the refrigerator for five weeks in the freezer six months. So you can just make a couple of cakes, put it up, make a couple more muffins, put it up, make your waffle, put it up. So it lasts. You get a lot in a 32 ounce container. And then our line of gourmet smoked spices, we just came out with the brand new spice that's called the Seasoned Box. That's our spice for November. So within the last four months, we've introduced six new spices. So you've got to try these new spice blends. They are phenomenal. And the best part is you can mix and match to create your own flavors. So what we're doing this for is we're trying to get families back in the kitchen cooking together to create memories, to eat healthier, but also I want you to have that journey. I get so many people to say, I'm tired of broccoli. I'm giving you so many different ways you can eat this broccoli with our spice blends. I'm tired of green beans. I'm giving you so many different ways you can eat green beans and pastas and whatever your dishes are. So follow us at Keep It Spicy. That's the S-P-I-C-E-Y dot com is our webpage to look at all of our dynamic products. We've got recipes. We do a blog. Or you can email us if you have a question at Keep It Spicy, S-P-I-C-E-Y 100 at gmail.com. So thank you for having us on the show. We're happy to be a sponsor of this show. So you guys tune in weekly to find more information. Go, Ms. Shea. Yes, yes. Now, I definitely need my phone. Y'all got to understand, this is my phone. She keeps everybody. Yeah. So I want you guys to not only 
support and connect with her, but I want you to connect with her on social media websites because she's always giving out bad information. As you can see, she definitely knows what she's talking about because she has uh, set this path of self self care awareness. She does a lot of events. She focuses focuses in on the needs of the community. When she sees ladies, um, you have a small party not too long ago. I remember you said something. Uh, it was about caregivers, and I mean, she just comes in and she creates these these events. And, and she works that with our college athletes. Also. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. She works with Bernard Shaw. Bernard Shaw. With muscles. Nice Okay, I'm still in that territory. Go ahead. Yes, we like. I can. You know, you can bring one of them with you next time. I think they can bring right next to me. I'm not trying to be in no no trouble. You know what I mean? I love it. Yes. 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 Y